Hi everybody, this is Ken Faulkner coming to you with another knife video and I am on a mission because uh, I already videoed this uh, this um, thing that I'm going to do and it ended up being 20 minutes long so I'm going to see what I can do to, to not ramble so much kind of get to the point doing a bit of a collection video but it's just a partial Got to break it up because there's just it would just take too long to go through all of them. So I'm just doing like fifth pocket knives. That's the fifth pocket in your jeans with so uh, small. So it's got to be a small knife. Um, and uh, I got a kind of a progression here because some of these are from early on before I really knew much about pocket knives. And so I wasn't as particular. And here's a, a real good example of that right here. This is uh, a assisted from Imtech, and it's got the plastic handles. Very impressive. It's an ATR MOV uh, blade, and you can see it's actually one of the bigger of my fifth pocket knives. This one's uh, six inches long, about two and a half inches on the blade length. So I'm going to put this guy right there. And then I got a little smaller one. Uh, this is a Smith and Wesson knife, so you know that's not maybe not the best uh, pocket knife out there, but it's very small. You can see uh, the comparison. Let me flick this guy open. Now this one doesn't have very good detent. It has a G10 on this side, the other side steel. Ah, nope, couldn't get it. Kind of have to flick it to get that. It's a tiny little blade. It's like uh, a little Tonto. It's almost a uh, not a very well ground, but a uh, hollow grind on there. And um, it, uh, maybe it's D2 or something like that. It's very, fairly inexpensive. But this pocket clip is crazy. Look at how big it's as big as the, the whole uh, handle of the knife. And when you're trying to fit this thing in your pocket, it just, it doesn't, it doesn't want to open up because it's just so wide. It's, it's so solid. So I actually clipped this thing to my backpack and uh, don't don't really carry it in the fifth pocket, but it is that size range. Next, I have another real tiny little knife. This one is uh, from a company called Massalong that I'm not very familiar with. I don't have any other knives from them. But the reason why I bought this was, um, one thing was the frag, because everybody was putting out frag pattern when I got this one. And you can see it's definitely got a frag pattern. And this little guy here has titanium uh, handle scales. Okay. And uh, the blade shape is not that bad. Doesn't really flick very well, but I get the thumb stud, get it out there. But it's got kind of a cool little sheath blade. Uh, I think it's D2 on this one as well. And uh, the only problem with this one, the biggest problem with it, other than not having a pocket clip, but uh, you just kind of throw this in the fifth pocket and you can find it pretty easy. It's got titanium uh, um, um, frame lock without a steel insert. So you do get that lock stick. So it's, if you click it open, open fast, it's kind of hard to get it to, to close. So moving right along, trying to keep this going. The next one is a CRKT. And this is actually, you know, I'm not I'm not a huge fan of CRKT. I do have a few of their knives, but this one is the Squid. And this one is really actually a pretty solid knife. It's for these little fifth pocket knives. Uh, this one is heavy. It's got a steel, steel handles, uh, scales. Uh, and uh, even though it's not big, it's uh, it's got some heft to it. So I kind of like that. Moving right along. I'm doing pretty good so far here. Getting on to the next one. This may be my shortest video ever. I got a cold steel. Usually you think cold steel, you're thinking about a big old huge blade. Something that's going to whip out of uh, Lynn Thompson's pocket and scare all the children uh, nearby. But this is the Tough Light. Tough Light. And it's light because it's got some real kind of thin, kind of flimsy plastic handles. But, as far as actually having a usable blade, that is really good. Finger choils, I can actually get my full 
grip on this small little knife. And this thing, you know, as far as it's, it's kind of works the same as something that, you know, like a box cutter. Yeah, with that straight edge like that, it can really cut some cardboard. So it's not a bad knife. It's got that back lock. Not my favorite, but it's definitely strong. So there's the next one. And moving right along, I'm over halfway done. We're starting to progress into some nicer knives. Uh, this is a Kubi. Uh, still in the budget range. I mean, it's a small knife, and uh, but it's got some nice G10 handles. It's uh, contoured. Um, I think this is also D2 uh, steel. But boy, I'm telling you, as far as these little knives are concerned, this has got the best D10. It just fires out. It's really good. It's also got kind of a tanto with a little rounder front edge of the blade. Um, and uh, it, fits, it feels good in your hand. Maybe it doesn't quite give you that full grip, full four finger grip, but that last finger kind of wraps around it from the back. Nice wide, uh, wide blade. This is the Kubi Chubby. That's the name of it. It's the Chubby. And uh, it's one of my favorite of this size knives. Moving right along, I have a boker and this is a tiny little guy it's got this lanyard I think this lanyard came with it I I don't think I put this on there I think it came with it and the good thing about that lanyard is it kind of helps you to, to hold that small little handle and also this is an auto which is usually a big no-no in California where I live but this one is a sub two inch so here we go we're looking at just right at two inches of blade just at that legal carry limit and so it's kind of cool to have have uh, I kind of uh, instead of having like little fidget to toys and stuff like that little little things in your pocket to fidget with I tend to use knives for that kind of thing and this side even though it's uh, you kind of have to do two-handed if you're real careful you can get it closed with one hand but it's got that snappiness to it I'm more of a manual folder type of guy, but but every once in a while it's kind of satisfying from that fidget point of view to get that snap going. Okay, so that's the Boker. It's uh, the Vox uh, Compact. Vox Compact. And it looks like it's, I think this one is maybe D2 as well. You can look it up, or if you want to have any questions that I'm not hitting on, on trying to get this done fast, you can always uh, ask me in the comments, and I'll answer whatever questions you might have. Here, next next one. This one's a very popular one. Uh, ben Peterson is uh, well known in the knife community, and uh, he always talked about uh, how he likes a small knife. Uh, big knives, it's just if it gets above three inch long blade. He just he has nothing that he wants to do with something like that, and then it's got that Ben Blue uh, scale material, and it's the the smaller of his designs. I think this is the smallest one that he has. Uh, he uh, has started up his own knife company, which is NAF, and B Ben Peterson or Ben Banter, some people call him. He's the what is up guys guy, and. Uh, this is the baby banter and I got this one because it was a little cheaper don't like to spend a lot of money on the small knives because it's really not my most popular thing but I do like to have them every once in a while especially when I got that fifth pocket in my jeans got to put something in there and something like this works well it's got that front finger choil so again you almost get that four fingers on there good grip nice blade shape and I believe that this one is in nitro V can look that up to double check me but I think that's what it is I think it's a nitro view blade all right moving right along and I'm almost done this is my fanciest fifth pocket comes in this big fancy container it's, it's a big container for such a little knife and um, this is also an automatic but this one's an out the front and this comes from uh, m3 tactical and it's called the rogue and it's got aluminum handles 
pretty fancy with all that milling. Got a nice little uh, trigger for the for the for the out the front, and uh, look at that blade M three ninety. Gotta make sure that focuses because it's really a nice looking blade. I like a dagger style. You don't see too much, especially the the double edged like this one is, unless it's uh, an out the front. So. This is probably my favorite just because of those things. Very fidgety. I still kind of like the, the flicking out of the manual knives, but boy, this snaps in and out just like a big uh, out the front. And uh, I do enjoy this knife. And it fits right in that fifth pocket. Tiny little thing. And we're coming in at just maybe a little under that two inch mark so it, it fits the uh california legal size limit so there you go that's all i got for uh this size knife but uh, i thought i'd start out doing some collection videos and take it a little bit at a time and i hope you enjoyed it let me know if you got any comments or questions in the in the comments and i will see you later next time bye